Now we'll go to the social media space and Messi Manuel is standing by. Messi, good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Messi. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning. Lady in blue. Yes. <laughs> Looking smashing. Looking radiant. And it's yeah. royal blue. Well, you're yeah. Blue. Yeah. Mm. Looking really blue. <laughs> so what's so buzzing? I, I know social media these days, yeah. some from savage comments to bands and whatever you, you know. So, you know <laughs> let's just move on. Let's go. Yeah. Good morning. Good Here morning. are some of the stories trending ac across the globe. Federal governments give conditions for resuming operation of Abuja Kaduna train as terrorists free five more victims. Or your Motekun Corps intercept truck carrying about 150 travelers from Zamfara. UK line says 266 Nigerian doctors in two months. US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi arrived in Taiwan on Tuesday, becoming the highest ranking American official to visit the island in 25 years. Um, let's talk about these headlines first. I think we should talk about Oyo. Oyo Amotek intercepts 150 travelers, um, travelers from, from Zamfara. Mm -hmm. okay, there's been a lot of rural urban migration, but this time around, I want to believe it's because of insecurity. Majority of, majority of these people mm -hmm. are migrating from um, wherever they are coming from, yep. from far north to the southwest. And we have a lot of them here in Lagos, mm -hmm. from the bike men to people that, that you buy stuff from mm -hmm. in exactly. the market. But again, or you are more to send them back. Yes, and um, the, the reports that were diverted to Ogun State. Uh, Some it, of it, them even <laughs> You know, <laughs> it will be interesting to see how this pans out. I understand the apprehension, you know, um, in, in the um, atmosphere, considering the speed of insecurity in the land and what have you. So that that that, that suspicions and fears that, oh, these could be bandits who are just, mm, you know, um, disguising as, um, you know, those who need succor from the um, insecurity in the northern part of the state. Again, this is where regional security outfits come in. This is where community policing comes in, as well as state policing, that people should have, you know, um, be more security conscious and have a say in how the security of their environment is. And you have to give credit to Amotekun. Um, they did a thorough search of their belongings, yeah. which is quite commendable, um, just to, you know, be certain that um, they do not come in with any harmful any um, objects or whatever you. So I hope that we'll have more of such security outfits so that the people are safe. Okay, let's just get to the story of the day. Somalia Prime Minister Amza Abdel Bar has named a former Al Shabaab leader, Mukhtar Robo, as Minister for Religious Affairs in his newly formed cabinet. Robo's appointment was announced Tuesday, a move that could either help strengthen the fight against the Islamic set or provoke further clan clashes. Robo confounded Al Shabaab and served as a spokesman. spokesman sorry, for the deadly group that has long been designated as a terrorist organization by the United States. He publicly denounced the sect and defected to the government to the government side in 2017. But the relationship soured after he grew too politically powerful. His appointment comes after one month after Baal was nominated as prime minister by newly elected pre president Azan Sheikh Mohammed. His new job sparked a flurry of hashtags on Twitter crying he had made it. Roe has been, has been held under house arrest until recently. The hashtag has been from prisoner to minister. And I think we have a similar case here in Nigeria yeah. where an emir in the north um, crowned a, terror, a, turban, a terrorist as Seriki. Uh, what was the title? Yes, um, yeah. Seriki Fulani, something like that. So we'll, uh, we'll just take some reactions on Twitter. At AG Bay is rested. It was part of the Somalia government on terror assignment. Now he is in the government proper. Terrorism only thrives when people in government allow it. APT, APC is already on this part. This is what this person is saying. I don't know about that. Then at Oshita Dima say, it's like Somalia has something in common with Nigeria. And at Call Me Dimpu says, this is what my Yoruba people will, will term we're a laughing woe we'll weary. Tell me, some, 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 that's literally like it's madness, madness that is used to cure madness, madness. or in, it's insanity that is used to cure insanity. I don't think that's true. I understand where those who think that, um, you know, bringing the, the former terrorist on board would, um, you know, just make peace reign in that mm -hmm. sense. But it's also really like a, a dangerous, power. you know, precedence that are set in there uh, because this is someone who is now in a very powerful position and can make use of that position. He can do and so, undo. Exactly. So I, I think um, it's a dangerous precedent that they've set, and it's quite ridiculous that's happening. I'm sure that more qualified and, you know, intellectual 
um, Somalians who can occupy that position. Um, again, it says what it is, even if he is in quotes repentant, you can't deny the fact that he once had that radical ideology that supported terrorism. So bringing such a person into power to wield um, to make decisions, policies, and wield that influence is um, really, really dangerous. And I hope that Somalians um, get you know, better representatives. I think this prime minister is just trying to follow the same path the EMEA in the north took. Like, OK, we're just trying to look for a way to solve these insecurity um, issues we have around us. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we give them positions in the, maybe if we give them positions in the, um, in the in community, the yeah. maybe, OK, they will turn a new leaf. But my, let's hear my grace uh, What I think is, the first um, commenter mm -hmm. said terrorism only thrives when you allow it. Yes. I think that's just basically it. And the thing is, I personally don't believe anything like repentant terrorists. You know, you can be repentant. Well, that's why you say you are repentant. I don't know if your next move, repentant terrorists. I, I feel there's nothing like repentant terrorists because any, any, anybody can um, come back to their vomit. So they're. In a nutshell, terrorism only thrives in a society that allows it, and it's simple. Okay, let's just go to the second story. Caught at last, police on Tuesday arrested a team of one chance operator who picked passengers from Aja Axis and dropped them off at Old Lagos Abelkuta Expressway. Why the fifth accomplice escaped with the POS machine they used for operation, four members of the team are already in police net. Uh, we've been hearing a lot of uh, one chance incidents, yeah. especially in Lagos, coming from Yanokoja to Osho, any mm -hmm. access in Lagos, even from Berga to wherever you're going to. And uh, you see these guys, they, you would think they are passengers. Yeah, fellow passengers. Yes. You would just think they are passengers because they will be calling in, Osho, mm -hmm. Osho, eh, Yanokoja, Yanokoja. And you just. Uh, you just enter, like you just want to board the, the bus, and at the end of the day, but it's not always a good experience. Yeah, one chance is never a good experience, even yeah. if they take nothing from you. Mm -hmm. The fact that's trauma of being in their midst alone, you could be beaten, you could be beaten, you could be beaten. You know, it's, not, it's not a good thing, it's never a good experience. And at the end of the day, you're going to um, lose a lot of your maybe some of your belongings. But let's hear what um, some uh, some Nigerians are saying at time. Someone say, If I talk what's in my mind, then go say, then go say, I wicked. These guys are wicked, these guys deserve only one thing, although he didn't tell us what that thing is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then at Ocean Apparel says, whatever they said, this fat dude did. He did that shit. If, <laughs> he even looked like he swallowed <laughs> one of the people they kidnapped. So there was one of them is yes. very, very mm -hmm. um, chubby and fat. So this person is saying, Whatever they say this guy did, he actually did it. See how fat he is. <laughs> well, um, the, the, the beauty is they've been caught. And um, this makes, you know, the roads uh, a bit safer in that sense. Well, this sure? this is mean, just, so just one out of four out, out of many. Well, I understand it's four out of many. But if you have one or uh, a group of people taken out out of the many, and as I said, a bit safer. I mean, we can definitely have yeah. more that will be apprehended and make the roads safer for commuters. Hopefully we do. Yeah. Hopefully we do. Well, mm -hmm. that's it on the social media buzz, I guess. Yeah, that's And also all we can take on the show today. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll leave you with a quote from Winston Churchill. And this mm -hmm. quote says, success is walking from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. So when you walk from failure to failure without losing your vibe, that's actually what success is. So success is not really yeah. the absence of failure. Messi and Samuel mm -hmm. and something quickly. It's, it isn't. It yeah. isn't. Why push in success? Even if you fail along the line, you don't give up. Mm. Just stand up, reinforce. Mm. And go for. So <laughs> actually, when you are a failure, it's actually when you stop. So if exactly. you don't stop, you can't fail. But if you, stop, if you don't stop, you're not. Yeah. But if you stop, that's when you are a failure. Well, on this note, we wrap up the show for this morning morning but trust me other interesting breakfast shows and also shows for you on Ivan Daybreak Ivan TV rather awaits you my name is Margaret but I do have a wonderful Wednesday and I'm messy money I have a, a splendid Wednesday don't have a pleasant day I'm something lady <laughs>